Hello friends, uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project school management system and I have developed this project in uh, Java, JSP and MySQL for JDK version I am using the JDK 1.8 for Tomcat version I am using the Tomcat version 8 but if you add a Tomcat version 7, 8 or 9 then you can configure and run this project on the Tomcat 7, 8 or 9 version also for uh, front one more thing uh, if you are using any type of ID like NetBeans or Eclipse then you can also configure and run this project on the Eclipse and the NetBeans ID right so uh, for front-end development I am using the HTML CSS and JavaScript some of the jQuery library also have used like creating the form validations creating an email validations integration of the date plugins I have used the jQuery plugins right so this is all about the technology stack which I am using for developing this project, right? So let's start with the functionality go through. So the project title is the school management system and it's a mini project developed in Java JSP MySQL. It's a mini web based Java JSP and MySQL project, right? And uh, it has only an only admin functionality and uh, uh, there is no login for the student and there is no login for the admin okay so because it's a mini project so let's start with the functionality go through so this is the home page of the project you can see this is a simple show home page this is about us this is the admin login right from where admin will be able to log in once the admin clicks on the login button this is the admin dashboard so these operations admin can perform admin can add the fees admin can Add this the student, admin can see the student report, admin can see the fees report, admin can add the attendance, admin can see the attendance report, and many more things which is available here. Thus, this dashboard menu is also available here upward, right? On the header menus. Right. So let me go through one by one. So this is a home page which I explained you earlier about us. This is a dashboard. This is add student, right? From where admin will be able to add any number of students. Right? This is a student registration form. This is add fees from where admin will be able to add the fees of the students. Admin can select the roll number for the fees month and the fees amount receiving date, right? So this drop downs is coming from the database, right? This is add attendance from where admin will be able to select the student date in time and out time so this is the add attendance of the student this is the add attendance so add the there are three modules there are many modules available but the major module is this is the add student add fees and add attendance right this is the report so admin can see the reports of the students and admin can edit it and update it also right you can see this is a fees report admin can see all of the fees report admin can edit it and update it also and this is the attendance report admin can see all of the attendance marked by the admin right so save attendance right this is a change password from where admin will be able to update his account password and he will be able to log in with his updated account pa account password and logout functionality once admin clicks on the logout then you can see the above administration menu is not coming if you log in then above administration menu is coming so it the above header is depends on the uh, session right if admin login if admin is login the above menu will be displayed else not displayed right this is a contact us from where anyone can contact but i am not saving the data of this contact us page anywhere into the database right even i am not sending any type of email and sms from this page right so this all functionality i have developed in this project as i told you earlier this is a java jsp and mysql web based mini dbms project right which contains only and only admin functionality but if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much